Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Summer is sadly coming to an end, so it's time to trade in those slinky swimming suits for the perfect pair of jeans. It's time to go down to your closet and get your jeans out. Yes. But that also means that you got to get your booty right and tight. And here to show us how to do that, who already has a tight booty, is my trainer, Sinead Norvell. What's Yay! Happening? Thanks Hi. for having me. It's and time. we ran our jeans, too, so we, we can show you on. how it works all at yes. once. So now, Sinead, the summer is over. Yes. We had our swimsuit booties and stomachs. <laughs> yes. Now we have to get our booties together for the fall. But see, the, the misconception is that people have to go get augmentation and use all kind of, you know, girdles and carrying mm -hmm. on to lift their booty. But right. I know that you can naturally lift your booty. Tell yes. us how you can do that at home. You can do that at home without a lot of fancy equipment mm -hmm. and without augmenting it. Because as we know, a lot of people are getting those removed right. because it is actually medical scares and health risks. Yes. So these exercises I'm going to show you today have minimal risk. Yes. You will sweat. Yes. Your butt will feel tender okay but it'll get tighter and lifted okay you well, ready come on in. i'm right. not ready but okay you're ready the first one i know one, it's gonna be off the chain come on to the floor okay so the first one is a butt lift you're gonna bring your left leg up okay i'm gonna place a weight right in the crook of the leg okay this is gonna hit your glute and your thigh uh -huh. and the front too so i want you to lift uh -huh. up Ooh. you're gonna squeeze Ooh. keep that tight you want to feel that at least 25. are 25? you feeling that? let them know are you feel the burn yes. low burn abs are still tight so yes. this works if you want your butt to look good in the jeans and the pockets you have to work the thighs too <laughs> yes so yes. release that one that's burning. the next that's one and that's 25 on each side okay the next one you're going to extend the leg out okay. long tap on the side oh. and over let me know when you feel the burn we're going to do about 40. Feel the burn, feel yes. the burn. Yes, and you can feel the burn on the other On butt the other cheek. leg, right. So My both glutes from the root of two to two to both sides, both cheeks should be burning, and you're gonna stabilize till the abs are tight. Uh -huh. 40 total, 20 on each side. Feel okay. good? Yes, so I don't with know about that, good, but yeah. It's gonna feel great, and you're gonna okay. feel a little swelling in the butt, and that's what happens. You're lifting the glutes because they're gonna get tighter, oh. but they're gonna go higher as well. So pause on that, okay. roll onto your back, you're gonna do a bridge, and a glute lift with the bridge. So okay. both feet are flat, on your back, arms are out, lift your hips up to the sky and down. So each time, tighten the glutes and lower. You can get fancy and hold some weight. Okay, let's you know, do it. Just to make it a little more challenging, but that weight is gonna ha have the hips working more and the thighs. You feel that in your hamstring? Yes, now does it matter where we place these weights? You can place it right on the midsection so okay. you feel that difference as you're lifting up. You're going to see a lot of people using bands a lot uh -huh. more frequently. So you could place a band on this as well. Or if you want a bench, you could have it right on your hips. So just so you feel the difference with the weight. And these are good because you're not really using your knees. Not bothering your knees at all. And a lot of people feel like squats are the only solution. You'll right. see squat challenges. They work, but I'd rather keep your knees safe not aggravated and not at risk for injury. Now so. what about people that be doing squats and high heels, child? Now, if it's your day-to-day -day life requires it, then maybe. <laughs> but for the most part, it's fun. Dance classes do it. I've taken a lot of the funky classes mm -hmm. where we do the full class in heels, mm -hmm. but some people will risk injury for knees. So I say be conscious of what your body can actually handle okay. and the reality of it. If you're gonna do things where you do perform, be it for fun or for money, it's something that you want to say, can my knees handle this and will I be able to do this over a long period of time? Yeah. But knees it is are fun. key. Yes. Knees are important because yes. my knees are they ain't hitting no nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In our 20s, a lot of us could do it more. 30s even, as we get in our 40s and 50s, we still want to look fine and fit in our clothes, mm -hmm. but we have to protect our knees okay. at all costs. So what else can we do? One more move, uh -oh. and that is with the band. So you're going to stand up. You're seeing a lot of trends with bands. I'm going to place this around your ankles, okay. and I'm going to have you stand and support yourself on my shoulders. Okay. So you can face here. Uh -huh. I want you to extend your legs straight out. And you're gonna oh. sit. Yeah, that's what we want. That's what we want. We feel that. that. In my booty. In the booty. So in the, the top booty. In the top. What's the that? The maximus or the, the, the minimus? Medius and minimus. <laughs> all three areas. So you see how that difference and your stable leg should feel it too, right? Yes. So all of that, 25 on each leg. And lower back. Right. So that lower back is wow. what gives you that little hump. When you're trying mm. to see that dip in the back, you're getting that hyperextension mm. and the glute lift all at the same time. Mm. I'm having it all going on after the show. Right, right. So now, we're gonna get both sides. Now, how often should we do these 
these butt exercises. Like, should you do lower body? And some people call it lower body. Yes. How many times a week should you do lower body? Because I know you, you, you always have yes. me variate. Yes. I think three times a week is great because you're gonna rest and you use your legs throughout the day. So the recovery time is good. If you're adding heavy weight, then I say slow it down. But if you're not adding weight, you could do it three times a week put one or two rest days in between and keep going. Now, how do you do it without, I know a lot of women are afraid to get bulky, yes. but I know that's a myth. Yes. So, is it okay for women to lift heavy? What What is what is yes. the, the the thing that goes against right. getting bulky? Is it eating? Or is it, it? For these in particular, because that's a great question, less is gonna be best. You want higher reps, but you still want the weights to be challenging. Sometimes people think, oh, I don't wanna do too heavy and then they're just flying through. So you want it to be breaking a sweat, muscle soreness, but not risking injury. Well, Sinead, thank you so much for coming and thank you for showing us how to get our booties yes. together. Awesome, awesome. I feel it. And for more Sinead, you can check her out at her website, which is insideoutconfidence.com. Yes. Up next, we want to hear from you and what the people say. And now while you're at home, you can be doing these little yes. exercises yes. down to the lift, floor. Lift, lift, and, and hi, Bukhari. Hi, Bukhari, you're <laughs> Booty, booty, booty. <laughs>